Oxford Research Group started right back in the 1980s when it was the nuclear issue which was on everybody's mind. But we're now facing a very different world. Massive new problems have emerged and we do not know how to handle them. We have the extraordinary attitude that we can maintain control, even if that involves spending hundreds of billions of dollars on the military. But as we've seen in the last 15 years, that simply isn't working. If we don't really change our attitudes, our understanding of security, we're going to end up living in a world which is deeply unstable. Oxford Research Group is a think and action tank. Our aim in analysing problems is also to think about solutions. We talk about early intervention, quiet behind the scenes mediation, preventative work, because once we've got into the quagmire of conflict, it's often too late. It began with a simple idea, getting the parties in an intractable conflict to sit together around the table. Our skill is our networks and the range of contacts that we have. Our opportunities to bring the right people together in a safe space. The Oxford Research Group was instrumental in not only bringing us together and not only funding our efforts, but maybe most importantly by providing the human capacity, the researchers within the group, which have been able to add a tremendous amount of value to our own work, both in terms of methodology as well as in terms of context. They have an amazing expertise in strategic thinking, something, something that is lacking uh, in Israel. By having this expertise and their knowledge and insights about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, we could have worked with tools that I was not aware of and that are not well developed in Israel, for example, scenarios and thinking ahead of the curve. I've met with and worked a bit with the Oxford Research Group and I think very highly of it. Um, governments, of course, interact directly and it's important what they say and do, but they frequently have need also for people outside with special knowledge and also who do not are uh, stuck to government positions. And I think Oxford Research Group is one of the, uh, of the track B uh, actors in the world who have good contacts with governments and therefore is able to facilitate solutions of various problems. And the Iran nuclear deal was one of them where they were active. I think the Oxford Research Group had special knowledge in, in that case. And the solution after so many years of negotiation was excellent. Forty years ago, a remarkable ecologist said, we are moving towards a crowded, glowering planet of massive inequalities of wealth, buttressed by stark force, yet endlessly threatened by desperate people in the global ghettos. That is what we're facing. It is desperately important that we do the thinking to avoid that crowded, glowering planet. Oxford Research Group is exactly the kind of group that can do just that. For that reason, it is critically important that its work expands and makes the contribution that's so vitally needed.